Did you save the game? I did save it right there, yeah. That might be a good choice. <laughs> hmm. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. I get the idea that she's about to call me a name. Is it really that bad? It's good, it's really good, okay? There, I said it. This wasn't supposed to happen. This wasn't supposed to happen at all? Oh, why can't no, you just- she wanted you to- she wanted you to be bad so she could be better than you. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like another fourth wall kind of thing. No, no, no. Poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. <laughs> Problem with me trying to impress you. Tell you, you. Tell you what? I'll tell you what, you baka. Baka, I'll tell you what, ho. Huh? Tell you what, baka. <laughs> That's more of what I was going for, but you did it better. Slips out of her hand and flutters to the floor. Hey, I worked hard on that. I, have I gotta to, poop. I have to use the bathroom. Okay, bye. It's from Teeny. No, it's it's fine. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I mean, not really. Uh. <laughs> Are you sure you're not cheating? Cheating? Oh, I think I know what she means by cheating. What do you think she means? <laughs> that thing you told me about making sure I have the file explorer open. <laughs> What ever could you mean by that? <laughs> hey, she's back. That was a quick one. That was a quick poop. Pinch one off real good. Did you read this, Monica? Of course, I liked it. You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. Eh? Scrimtini wrote this poem. We're supposed to share with everyone, right? Okay. There's one person in the class who hasn't read it yet. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. Maybe the poem is still not very fair. So Yuri's not going to get to see it. Correct. I guess that's where saving and loading comes in. Correct, because that was also the part of cheating, because then you could go back and rewrite the poem to make her like it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so she gave me the poem back. Read, my, read her poem now. Oh, I completely forgot that we haven't read hers yet. Yeah, we have not. We've only read two strange... <laughs> like another, it already. Another big one. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. <laughs> Fuck her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders, that's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. <laughs> that's why I'm not friends with her. She has a lot of friends, always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. But if her friends start to like spiders too, that's why I'm not friends with her. Doesn't matter if she has other hobbies, doesn't matter if she keeps it private, doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross, the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. So, it's a very dark poem. This is this a poem about being racist? <laughs> no. I, I, know, I know the symbolism of the poem. You'll get it here in a minute. Okay. Not bad, right? Quite a bit longer. <laughs> I was just warming up. <laughs> Shut up, baby, I know it. <laughs> Message is pretty straightforward in this poem. Doubt I have to explain it. Yeah, well, like, it just r r run it by me one time. See if it's what I thought of. <laughs> what do you think it is? I honestly don't know. <laughs> That Subject. one was actually really straightforward. Subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? It's about how everyone thinks my... Uh, it's 
these are like your, some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out about they make fun of you or think less of you. That just makes people stupid, Baka. Glad you can appreciate this kind of writing. Let's talk about that yesterday, but... Been, well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so consider yourself lucky, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Okay. What you got on tap, Yuri? <laughs> I see. It's a bit different. Respect you for trying different things, Chromtini. Were you inspired by Natsuki's poem? Or Sayori's, perhaps? Well, sorry for being blunt, but you're overthinking this a little. Just because our styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. If I tried to do something in your in your style, I'd probably do a terrible job. Okay. Don't need to be too afraid to be a little more daring. So you're saying I should stop making poems about about pink and puppies, and effligent. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings. Write down the things you see and hear. It's a very intimate exercise, okay? I have um, well, an example of that if you like to read it. Okay, what is this now? The raccoon. Happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of whoops. <laughs> gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken a fall at taken to following me. You say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread, and I feed myself again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who had lot, the best poem today? A lot more metaphorical. Um, yes, that one was very metaphorical. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't imagine to begin with this poem was about. All that kind of rings true for me, the player man, as well. <laughs> it will make sense shortly. If I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, different people can relate to in their own way. That's the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. I'm usually forced to keep to myself. I enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. <laughs> Natsuki also wrote something about that, about being ridiculed for a strange interest. Something about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. I don't think you two got that in common. You two could become fast friends. That's the best kind of friendship is fast friends. <laughs> uh, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. Please don't tell her I said that. I mean, she m might have heard you. Small classroom. Yeah. <laughs> if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. Wow. All right, everyone, line up for the daily ass kicking. Have something extra planned today. Okay. 
about the festival. I have to do something for the festival. I mean, come on. Are we gonna like read our poems at the festival? Perhaps. I'm gonna keep it simple, okay? Don't need much more than a few decorations. Sure, he's got posters, got pamphlets. Yeah, what are we actually gonna be doing? We're gonna be performing. Cool part is, we're gonna let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Who's <laughs> 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 been coloring a poster? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, posters are already up. It's too late now. Can't go back now, bitches. <laughs> We've read <reading> poems. <laughs> Forget literature club, forget books, we doing poems now. There's no way I'm gonna perform in front of a group of people like that. Never ever. I can never do something like that. You understand me? Never! <laughs> Guys. I understand where they're coming from. Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask. We start the event and he's put on a good performance. Then we'll have a bunch more people in this club. The more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show off everyone what literature is all about. Expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. And not judging a book by its cover. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree! <laughs> like Scrumtini, why are you talking like that? Because I... Damn Robbie Rotten. I got nothing. It sounded like you were gonna do a Robbie Rotten fucking voice, alright? <laughs> Look at this poem that I just found. It says I'm number one. <laughs> when I say poem, be ready to recite. Somebody doesn't know fucking Lazy Town. He wouldn't say that. <laughs> I literally, like, the only thing I know from Lazy Town is the. Look at this net that I just found. And Robbie Rotten! <laughs> and I guess the the making the cake song. But I just know the, the little John remix. <laughs> Is that the one that we watched when we were in the other town? Yeah. Yeah, that one. I haven't seen that one in a long time. <laughs> Don't put it up. <laughs> it might not be appropriate for literature club <laughs> what if I just put it up superimpose it on the chalkboard over here that's fine do that yeah might as well help him out maybe but it's like you're all out of arguments Natsuki it's like you don't got a dog in this fight dog in this fight Monsignor <laughs> so I just have to get it over with what about you, Yuri? You jumping in this boat with us? I guess I don't really have a choice. This club is seriously gonna be the death of me. Everyone quits everyone quit saying that. Let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're gonna practice reciting them in front of each other. This poem is the way they fly. <clears throat> Starts reciting her poem. Wait for the, more than that, her reflection is pristine. It's like she's practiced this before. Glance around me, everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori's amazed. Yuri's got an intense expression. Four of us applaud. Yay! This poem is called... It's called... Oh wow, after image of a crimson eye. Okay. She says she starts reading. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Sure, gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's like what happens when she, what happens when she gets absorbed into her books. It's transformed into sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in the structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. My god. She's a maestro. 
He snaps back into reality and glances around her. Uh, it's up to me to save it. I'm the first to start applauding. Give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to. We just felt like we had to. It's like Yuri's down for the count. She passed out on the floor. What are we going to do with this puddle of Yuri on the floor? Alright, Sloppy, you're up. This one's called My Meadow. At least that one sounds peaceful. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sloppy. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sloppy is. It's serene and bittersweet. I'd read this on paper, probably wouldn't think much of it. It's kind of lame. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Finishes, and we applaud. Good job, Sloppy. In other words, I've seen poems of yours, but that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. Might need to be a little more fierce behind them. Or force. I can't read. Force, you fucking illiterate. I can't read. This is I've not just, the right game for you, then. I've just been bumbling my way through all these text boxes. Been doing well. Make you pick a poem that challenges you a bit more. Okay. Natsuki? Don't make me go before Scrumtini. <laughs> but I only have two poems. <laughs> Which one could I possibly make? Or read? Everyone, certain. Look at everyone. Pick a wall and look at it. Don't look at me. Eyes to the back of the room. There's something I want you to see back there. <laughs> it's hard to put the energy to it. As I finish, I receive applause anyway. I throw my paper down on the floor and say, "Don't clap for me." More about your lack of confidence in your writing. Ouch. Alrighty then. This leaves you, Natsuki. poem is called... Uh, it's called... <laughs> Why's everyone looking at me? <laughs> poem is called Jump. It's just... <laughs> she pulls out the liner notes from a Best of Van Halen album. Jump. Go ahead and jump. <laughs> jump. Might as well jump. And everyone's like, yay! <laughs> Her sour attitude disappears a little. Well, she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme. It's Natsuki's trademark style. It's full of spiders, and monkeys, and hair ribbons. And, uh, cupcake children, or whatever that fucking manga is. <laughs> Parfait girls. Parfait girls, that's, that was the money. I just feel like they bounce up and down. Finishes and everyone claps. That wasn't so bad. At least feel prepared enough to write a side of poem from other people. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. But it's just for you fuckers, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'll fucking read whatever for you, numbskulls. Well, I guess in that case you won't have to worry about much for the festival. I want to thank everyone for coming through. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice for the festival, okay? Okay. Pick a poem real good, okay? <laughs> now stop being so dang happy all the time. Okay, everyone. That's about it for the day. Let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. Finish planning tomorrow, then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is a big day. Wow, there really isn't much time between this and the festival, huh? Nope, we gotta write a poem, and then write a poem for the weekend, and then do a festival. 